Hi, Manuel. Are you sure? I feel so bad taking Maria's room. Don't worry about it, Mama. She'll understand. Hey, Dad. I'm home. Oh, hi, Grandma. I didn't know you were here. Hola, mi amor. Dad, what are you doing? Why are you putting all my stuff in boxes? Hey, sweetheart, um, look, your grandma hasn't been doing too good lately, so she's gonna be staying in your room for a little while. What? No! It's okay, Manuel. Don't worry about me. I can always go back to the nursing home. No, Mama. You heard the doctors. You need to be with us. Look, honey, I know this isn't easy, but I... You can't be serious. You can't just kick me out of my own room. Where am I supposed to sleep? Honey, it's only for a little while. I even made your own little space. Come on, I'll show you. I seriously can't believe this is happening. See, I even got your brand new pillow and a comforter. This is ridiculous. I'm not gonna sleep here. Honey, please, it is the best I can do for now. You know money has been tied for us. How am I supposed to go from having my own bedroom to sleeping on a couch. Well, at least you still have a home to sleep in, right? I mean, shouldn't you be grateful for that? No! There's no point in me even being here anymore. I'm leaving. Honey, please, stop. Where are you going? I'm gonna stay with my friend Tara. At least she has her own bedroom. on the couch? I can't believe him. Let's keep going. Almost there. What's a surprise? <laughs> Almost. Okay. Almost. Surprise! I got you a pillow and a blanket. I know. I'm sorry that I can't do more. I just feel bad that you... I had to use my jacket as a blanket. What's wrong? You don't like it? I love it, actually. I'm just... I'm so happy that I don't have to go to bed cold anymore. Thank you so much. One day, I'm gonna be able to buy a house. You're gonna have your own room. I promise. Dad. Are you kidding? I don't need my own room. I have a pillow and blanket now. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Wait. But what about you? You don't have a pillow or blanket now. It's okay. I got my jacket now. <laughs> Honey, thank goodness you're home. I was so worried about you. Hey, Dad. Yeah, I shouldn't have left like that. Listen, I feel really bad about everything. So you can take my room. I don't mind sleeping on the couch. Really? I could have the master bedroom? Yeah. I already moved all your stuff. Actually, Dad, thanks for the offer, but I'm fine with the couch. You can keep your room. What? But I don't understand. Where is this coming from? Well, I just learned to be more grateful for what I have. I'm really sorry about earlier. Estoy muy orgulloso de ti, mi vida. Y yo también, mi amor. Yes, yes. And actually, do you think we have an extra blanket and pillow? Yeah, I think so. Why? There's something I want to do.
Hello, how, how can I help you? Hi, I just wanted to come and give you this. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. God bless. God bless you too. I'm so sorry for your loss, Brian. Your mother was a great woman. She was like my very own family. Thank you. What was your name again? Estella. Oh, Stella, that's right. Yes, it's really too sad. But on the brighter side of things, you know, my mother was a multimillionaire, and I don't have any other family members, so I'm gonna get everything in her will. Hello, everyone. I'm Albert. Her mother put me in charge of her finances. If you two are ready, we can go ahead and discuss Miss Davis's will. Yes, uh, I'd like to start with real estate. I want to sell it all. And how fast do you think I could get that money? Before I answer that, let's take a look at your mom's will. Yeah, of course. It says, I, Susan Davis, am leaving all of my cash and properties to Stella Gonzalez. Well, <laughs> Estella, the caretaker. Okay, no, that must be a mistake, all right, because I'm her only living family member. She told me she was gonna leave everything to me. Well, I'm sorry, Stella's name is what's written here. And there's also another note, and to my son, family does not require blood. It only requires love. Okay, let me. Okay, what does this even mean? You, what did you do? Okay, tell me exactly what happened the last time you saw my mother. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this. The last time I saw your mother, was on her birthday. It was her birthday, so I brought her a cake. I was walking to your mom's hospital room to check up on her because her condition was getting a lot worse. <laughs> Happy birthday, Miss Davis. You're crying. <laughs> Why are you crying? It's nothing, Stella. No. Please. Tell me. It's my son. I haven't seen him in years. I feel so alone. Oh. You're not alone, Miss Davis. You have me. I'll always be here for you. Hey, Mom. I, uh, I needed to talk to you about something. Oh, my son. <laughs> my beautiful baby boy. You finally came to see me. This is the best birthday gift ever. Oh, uh... That's right. Um, happy birthday, Mom. Look, I, uh, I don't have a lot of time right now, but I don't think you do either. So I think we should really talk about my future. Okay. What are you trying to say? Well, as your only living family member, I just... I wanted to make sure that you were going to leave everything to me in your will. Oh. You hear about the money. Well, you're the only family that I have. So, yes. Okay. 
Great, okay, awesome, yeah. I thought that was going to be your answer. I just wanted to come by, you know, make sure. And yeah, on that note, I, I, I kind of have to go, but happy birthday. The only time he comes to visit me is when he needs money. He doesn't even care about me. <laughs> I have no one who truly loves me, Stella. Oh, Miss Davis. You're not alone. I'm always here for you. You've always been so good to me. Why do you do so much? Well, I've always believed that family doesn't require blood. It requires love. And you're like family to me. That's really beautiful. And you're more like family to me than even my own son. So you see, that was the very last time I saw her. She died the very next morning. I oh, know, I I can't believe this. Okay, I needed that money. It looks like you and I have a lot to talk about. The first thing I'm gonna do is build a school in Mrs. Davis's name so that everyone can see how wonderful a woman she was. She was my family. I'm so excited to show you these new examples. Able to hey, watch it. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Kelsey. Ew. What the heck? You wear a wig? Oh, well, I, uh... Get this nasty thing away from me. Hey, why would you do that? You got a problem? <laughs> That's what I thought. And next time, watch where you're going, or I won't be so nice. Hey, don't let Kelsey get to you. Ever since her sister's been in the hospital, she just has been different. This one right here is the ombre wig. I like to match it with this butterfly clip. Love that. After school, I'd love to help you design some of the wigs. Mm -hmm. <gasps> hey, look everyone. Beth has no hair. Her new nickname should be Bald Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Bald Beth. Stop that. Give it back. Aw, oh, is Bald Beth gonna cry? Say cheese. Now the whole school is gonna know how ridiculous you look. Good morning, class. Everyone turn to chapter three. We're gonna be learning fractions. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. What happened to her hair? <laughs> Look, that's her. <laughs> what a freak. <laughs> Our school's very own freak show. <laughs> Here, show your friends. <laughs> Look! Hey, Baldy, you're famous! 
this? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Oh, uh, relax. I don't want you losing your hair over this. <laughs> Whoops, too late. <laughs> you already have. <laughs> Kelsey! Come on, honey, we gotta go see your sister. Coming! Bye, body. <laughs> Hey sis, how are you? Mom, what's wrong with her? Why isn't she saying anything? Um, chemo has been really hard on your sister, honey. I know you haven't seen her in a while, but... She lost her hair a few days ago, and um, she hasn't smiled since. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm so sorry, Mariah. Um, I'll give you two time to talk, okay? Hey sis, please don't be sad. Don't you remember when we were little? We used to laugh and play all the time. <laughs> you used to be so happy. What can I do to make you smile again? You? What are you doing here? Shh. Hey, Mariah. I'm Beth, one of the volunteers here. I brought you a little gift. Which one do you like? Here's how you put it on. It's that easy. And we can even decorate it with some cute hair clips. Do you want to try one on? Let's go with this one. Can I put it on you? Great. really good on you. What do you think? We can even decorate it with this cute butterfly clip. Do you like it? I love it. I used to wear a hair clip just like this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll come see you tomorrow too. I wanted to say I'm so sorry for how I treated you earlier. Ever since my little sister's been sick, I haven't been the same. It's okay. I know how you feel. You do? My sister was sick too. You see, a few years ago, my family and I found out that my sister had cancer. After a few rounds of chemotherapy, she had to shave all of her hair off. I'd never seen her cry so much. So, I did the only thing I could think of to help my sister. 
I shaved my head. I wanted to let her know that we were in this together. And she wasn't all alone. So you see, that's the reason that I won't. And after my sister recovered, I still shape my head to help others like your sister know that they're not in this alone. Wow. I can't believe it. You're an amazing person. Thank you so much for helping my little sister. You're welcome. Hey sis, I have a surprise for you. I shaved my head because I wanted to let you know that we're in this together and you're not all alone. Oh my God. Hey babe, I'm back. Kathy, Kathy, what are, what, are, what are you doing back? Oh, I got done with chemo early today. What's with all the boxes? Hey, why don't, uh, why don't we go upstairs and talk? Give me a sec. I'm sorry. I'm so nauseous. I'm trying to be strong. But it's like this chemo is taking the life out of me. The only good thing I have in my life right now is you. Look, now's probably not the best time to tell you this, but I... Hey, babe, we should get going before... Jess? What are you doing here? Hi, Kathy. I hadn't realized you were home. I don't understand. What's going on? Why don't, uh, why don't we all go into the other room and talk? No, Eric. You're gonna tell me right now what's happening. I... Uh, Jess, why don't you start taking some boxes to the car, huh? I need a minute. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry, Kathy. There's no easy way to say this, but... I've been seeing Jess. Look, you're sick, and it doesn't look like you're gonna get any better, so... I've got to start thinking about my own future, you know? Your future? What about me? Do you know how much I'm going through? <sighs> what, you think this isn't hard on me? I've had to sit by your side and watch you struggle with cancer. That isn't easy, you know? What about our vows, Eric? We're richer or poorer? In sickness and health. What about what you said to me when you found out I had cancer? What are you talking about? How could you forget? I think this is the test results from the lab. I'm so nervous to open it. What if it's cancer? Hey, 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 hey. We don't know what it says yet. Just open the letter. It's cancer. Eric, it's cancer. Hey, 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 hey. Look at me, Kathy, look at me. You're going to get through this, okay? We are going to get through this. Together, okay? Together? But what if you don't want me anymore? I don't want to be alone. You'll never be alone. Kathy, remember. For richer or for poorer. In sickness, as well as health. I'll always be by your side. I love you.
You see, you said we would be in this together. And I believed you, Eric. Well, I'm sorry. Things change. I can't do this anymore. So that's it? You're just gonna leave me like this? I'm going to be all alone? Jess and I are moving in together. I think it's best if you hear it from me first. I hope everything works out for you. I, I hate seeing you like this. Oh, you know, I was thinking about a divorce. I mean, given the circumstances, it doesn't really seem necessary. Why spend the money if you're just gonna... Never mind. I'll, uh... I'll just come back later when you're not here to pick up all this stuff. Kathy is devastated. Eric goes on and starts his new life with Jess. Now that he doesn't have to worry about Kathy anymore, he doesn't seem to have a concern in the world. But then one day, a few months later, Eric had gotten his recent test results back from the lab and was opening up the letter. It turns out, Eric has cancer. He couldn't believe it. Eric has to start chemotherapy right away and his health quickly goes downhill. As he deals with this sickness, Jess decides she isn't going to stick around anymore and leaves him. And then a few years later, Eric happens to see Kathy. Kathy? You're alive. Eric. I almost didn't recognize you. Yeah, yeah I could say the same thing about you. You look great. But I don't I don't understand. How, how how did you I beat it. I beat the cancer. When you left, it was really hard. But I kept fighting and eventually I got better. And now I'm cancer free. Oh, wow, that's so great. I'm so happy for you. What about you? Are you okay? A few months after we broke up, I got diagnosed with colon cancer. Jess couldn't handle it, so she left me. Oh, no. Kathy, I just want to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything, for the way I handled everything. It's okay. Maybe... Maybe we... Try it again, hmm? <laughs> I'm just so tired of being alone. Thanks, Eric. I really hate seeing you like this. But I don't think it would ever work. There's just too much pain there. So what's in the Tiffany's bag? It's not Tiffany's. Ooh, it feels so cheap. Let me guess. That's your boyfriend. The one that got me this. <gasps> Yellow. <laughs> For Valentine's Day. What'd it cost him, like $2? You should leave him.